Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be a lipstick declutter. So obviously a bit of a different format here and this is actually the first time I'm doing a video like this. But recently my lipstick collection has also gotten a little bit out of hand. I mean, I'm sure this is not bad compared to a lot of other YouTubers, but for me, it's making me very stressed out and I don't have enough lipstick storage for all this and I just needed to make a change, go through, declutter a few things. Some lipsticks I never even wear, some are just old and need to be thrown away. So I thought I would take you through my lipstick declutter. So I really am not sure the best way to do this. Like I said, this is my first time doing something like this. So I'm just gonna grab out random lipsticks and go through them and let you guys know what I think. So the first one that I picked up is from NYX. It is the Butter Gloss in Fortune Cookie. So I actually just bought this one. Obviously, I'm going to be keeping this one since I did just buy it, but I have not tried any of the NYX Butter Glosses. So definitely will be keeping this one. So the next one is a Maybelline lipstick and this is in Rum Richie. So Maybelline has some of like my favorite formulas for lipsticks and they are affordable, which is amazing. I love them. A Rum Richie is one of my favorite lipsticks to use for the fall. It's a really pretty like deep brown color and I will definitely be keeping this. Another Maybelline lipstick that I have is Truffle Tease. This is a beautiful like light brown shade. Obviously, I don't want to swatch all of these for you because I would run out of hands, arms, and feet to swatch these, but beautiful light brown, bit of a glossy shade. It's gorgeous. I wear it so often. It's been mentioned in favorites videos. I have to keep this one. I'm a lippy lover, so I'm very concerned how this declutter is going to go. We shall see. But the next one that I picked up is from NYX, and this is one of their soft matte lip creams, and it is in the shade Milan. It's a very hot pink, but it is so pretty, like, and I love the formulas of the soft matte lip creams from NYX, so this is going in the keep pile. This is a lipstick from Sigma Beauty. They actually sent it to me. It's in spades, and it's one of their power lipsticks. I actually have not used this yet. I have swatched it and it looks gorgeous, like a very neutral pinky nude, I would say. But because I have not even been able to like try this out yet, obviously I wanna keep it and try it out. Okay, so next up we have from Gerard Cosmetics. This is the shade Buttercream and um, this is super, super sticky. This leaks, I don't know, it apparently broke at some point and I'm going to be tossing it just because I've had it for so long and obviously it's leaking like I wouldn't want to take it anywhere with me but truly I don't even like these. Um, it was very disappointing. I bought these because this was a collaboration with Jaclyn Hill and I was really really disappointed in these lip glosses. They are super super sticky. It's just basically impossible to wear them. Cream was definitely my favorite out of the bunch shade wise but formula wise I just no, so this is going in the toss pile. So next up I have from NYX, it's one of their lingerie liquid lipsticks in Ruffle Trim. Honestly, I love these NYX lingerie formulas. I know it's like very hit or miss with people, like you either love them or you hate them. And I am one who loves them. If I ever just need like a really good nude to wear, this is what I'm grabbing, so I'm keeping this one. Then I have one of the Too Faced Melted Lipsticks, and this one is in Melted Strawberry. It's a really intense, like, glossy red. And honestly, I do not like these Too Faced Melted Lipsticks. I have mentioned them before about how I'm just not impressed with them. And they just, they run, they bleed outside the lips. They're really hard to keep on, and they just transfer so much. Like, I just cannot get behind these. I know so many people love them, but I am one who just does not like these, so I will be putting this in the toss pile. From Maybelline, I have one of their baby lips, and I'm not sure, I know they come in different shades. This one is like a pink shade, and honestly, I've had this one. I mean, it's been like years and years since I've had these. I have so many different baby lips in my collection, but I truly don't really like the ones that have a tint to them. Like this one leaves like almost like a hot pink tint to the lips, and I actually don't like that. So I'm going to toss this mostly just because it is really old. I have a ColourPop Ultra Matte Liquid Lipstick. This one is in Bumble. It's a really pretty, like, unique, almost like red-brown shade. 
I think it's really cool looking. This is just like a really unique shade, so I would definitely want to hold on to this one. So I have another of the NYX Soft Matte Lip Cream. This one is in London. This is like a gorgeous brown nude. This is one of my favorites to wear. I find myself reaching for it so often. I will definitely be keeping this one. I have another Maybelline lipstick. Like I said, Maybelline has some of my favorite, favorite formulas. If you're looking for a good drugstore purchase, check out Maybelline's. This is from their matte collection, and this is in Clay Crush. This is a gorgeous like nude brown color, but it has a matte finish to it, which just makes it so gorgeous. It's one of my favorite lipsticks to wear. I'm constantly recommending this one. I may or may not have bought this because I do have a crush on Clay Matthews who plays for the Green Bay Packers. So there's that. So then I have another baby lips here from Maybelline and I realized that the, the names are written on the side of it here. So this one is called Ruby Star. And again, I've had this for so long, but I remember I really didn't like this one because it left like such a weird like red tint to the lips, like almost like you'd been drinking Kool-Aid or something and it just looked kind of bizarre. So this will go on the toss pile. So another ultra matte liquid lipstick from ColourPop. This one is in Teeny Tiny. It's like a very dark, brown pink I would say. It's a really cool color and I really do like the, the ColourPop Ultra Mattes and they are only $6 which is super affordable so I'll be keeping this one. So next up I have from Kylie Cosmetics. This is one of the lip glosses. The shade is in Like which is a really pretty like brown almost kind of like peachy brown I would say. So I just recently got these but honestly I have all three of the glosses and I truly really do like them. I like that they're not sticky at all where as opposed to like the Gerard Cosmetics where it's so sticky it's pretty much unwearable. I think these are very very wearable and long lasting and I do think they're a really good gloss so I'll be keeping this. Next up from L'Oreal I have their Blake's Red. So L'Oreal has a couple different collections with celebrities. I believe they have nudes and now reds. I have the Blake's Red which looks like this. It honestly is not like a true red. When I first start to apply it it comes off as like a pinky red and I honestly have not been able to find just a true red for my collection. I will keep it. It's not my favorite by any means and I really don't like the smell of the L'Oreal lipsticks but I really don't have too many reds in my collection and when I need to reach for one like I need to have some so that's why I'm keeping it but I hope to find a good true red soon. So next up I have a lipstick and this is from Gerard Cosmetics and this is in the shade Tequila Sunrise and it is like a very cool like orange coral color. Honestly, I love the color of this. I think it's very unique, but the formula is so, so crappy. I mean, after maybe like three wears of this, it was completely dried out. It would like flake on my lips. I am not a fan of the Jar Cosmetics lipstick formulas, their lipsticks or their lip glosses, and I will definitely be putting this in the toss pile. Okay, so then I have another of the Too Faced Melted Lipsticks. This one is in Melted Jelly Donut. If I had to pick a favorite, I guess this would probably be my favorite out of the melted ones that I have. It's a really cool like bright pink color, but again, I can't get behind the formula. I never want to wear it because it ends up all over my face, so this one will be tossed. So then I do have another of the L'Oreal lipsticks from the Celebrity Collection, and this one is from uh, the Nude Collection. So this is Jennifer's Nude, as in Jennifer Lopez. If you can see, this is all the lipstick I've left. I have had this for quite some time, but it really is one of my favorite nudes. I don't like the smell of the L'Oreal lipsticks like at all, but that's okay. I really love this color. This is another one from Gerard Cosmetics. This one is in Fire Engine. So again, I bought this thinking it would be like a really true red. It's not, it's definitely much more of a pink red. And again, it's just pretty much unwearable to me. It is so dry and flaky on the lips, so throwing this away. From ColourPop, this is one of their Ultra Mattes. This one is in Beeper. Beeper is such a loved shade. This is like a very like cool tone, brown, gray, and I absolutely love it. I feel like it's a favorite of so many. I'll definitely be keeping this. I this in my Ipsy bag. It is from Tarte and it's a lip surgeon's, I believe in Wonder. I did swatch it and put it on my lips and I'm really upset that I did because I probably could have given it away. I knew instantly that I wouldn't want it because I don't enjoy like the crayon lippies like they're just not my favorite but it was in my first Ipsy bag and I did like a tutorial on everything that was in that Ipsy bag and I wish I hadn't because I could have given this away. I've used it once but I'm probably never going to use it again so maybe I'll see if a friend wants it.
Another one from ColourPop and their Ultra Mats. Clearly, I love the ColourPop Ultra Mats and they're only $6, so I have so many of them. But this is in Salo, which is a beautiful, like, everyday pink color. It has, like, a bit of, like, a... Like, it's not, like, a real neutral pink. It has a bit of a pop to it, and I absolutely love it. So this is a Tartus lip paint from Tarte Cosmetics, and it is in the shade So Fetch. As you can see, it is a super bright pink color. Now, I really like the Tartus lip paint formula. It's, again, this is like one that's like hit or miss for people. It's definitely, like, it does not dry completely matte like most liquid lipsticks. I compare it more to the NYX Soft Matte Lip Cream, but I enjoy it because it's much more comfortable on the lips, and you can reapply it if you need to, like with the ColourPops and even, like, Anastasia. You can't really reapply those as a liquid lipstick or it's just gonna chunk up. I truly love this color. I love the formula, and I will be keeping this one. I have a liquid lipstick from Anastasia Beverly Hills. This one is in Dulce. It's a really pretty, like, muted coral. I actually just mentioned it in my i think it was my most recent favorites video my june favorites video so of course i'm keeping it so this is a pink lipstick that came in like an elf kit like i mean it's nice and it's okay but i never reach for it because there's so many other formulas that i like so much better so i'm gonna put this in the toss pile another color pop ultra matte liquid lipstick is in clueless this is one of my favorite 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 lipsticks like from ColourPop and also just in general. I love Clueless so much. It's such a beautiful neutral everyday pink color. I know I say I have a lot of those in my collection but this one seriously is one of my favorites. Of course I'm keeping Clueless. This one is from Kat Von D and it is in the shade Bow and Arrow. Such a cool nude brown color and I ended up really loving it so I'm going to keep this one. Then I have another melted lipstick from Too Faced. This one is in Melted Fig. It's a really neat like purple color and again I do like this color but once again it's going to end up like on my nose and in the center of my forehead so going to toss this one. And then another baby lips from Maybelline. I'm telling you guys like I have so many of these baby lips it's kind of ridiculous but this is another one that left like a weird and you can see how dirty it is. I've obviously had it for way too long but it left just like a weird like Kool-Aid stain on my lips so tossing this one. So this is another one from Gerard Cosmetics and it is in Rose Hill. Again this was a collaboration with Jaclyn Hill and again I just was very disappointed in these. And it's a really cool shade. It's kind of like a brick red almost with a gloss to it and I was so excited. This was one of the first like big purchases that I made because of YouTube and I absolutely fell in love with Jaclyn Hill when I started watching her and I just could not get over how disappointed I was in these lip glosses so obviously I'm not going to keep this one either. This is another one from ColourPop and this is in Chili Chili which actually is like one of my favorite colors. It's a very pretty like deep red brown shade and I love the color but the formula on this one I don't know why but it is super super different it is very runny and very liquidy I don't know I love the color I'm gonna keep wearing it but just something about this one the formula is just weird so this is actually a new product from Maybelline it's one of their color jolts and strip down so I just got this but I've actually worn it quite a few times because I love it this formula to me is very similar to the Too Faced Melt Up formula, but so much better because it does not move super long lasting. Like even though it's not a liquid lipstick and it's more of a gloss, it stays on the lips for so long. I was really impressed with the longevity of this. Definitely keeping this. This is another one from Maybelline and this one is in Deepest Cherry. So this is a really, really dark, like almost like black cherry color. It's so cool for the fall. One of my favorites to wear. And again, I love the Maybelline formula. So definitely keeping this. This is another one from Gerard Cosmetics. This is in the shade Underground. I was like so excited for this shade because it was the first kind of like cool gray lipstick that I bought when the grays were becoming really popular. I bought this one and I do like the color. This is probably the best formula. I don't know if it was because I bought it separately from the others that I have mentioned. Like this formula came a little bit later. So I don't know if it was better because of that because it's definitely not like as dry and weird on the lips. But still, I really don't even appreciate Gerard Cosmetics as a company anymore. I've just seen too many like weird things about them and I've made the decision not to purchase from them anymore. So 
Even though I like the color of this one, I have more grays in my collection and I'm gonna get rid of this one. So we have another one from ColourPop and this one is in Lumiere 2. So I bought this one because it was a collaboration with Kathleen Lights, who I really enjoy watching here on YouTube. It's a really beautiful, like it's a pink, but it's, I don't know how to describe this one, honestly, because to me it's like a purplish pink. It's a very unique color and I really like it and yeah, I definitely have to keep this one. I have another of the NYX lingerie lippies and this one is in Bedtime Flirt. Again, this is just such a beautiful nude shade and like I mentioned, I do really enjoy the NYX lingerie ones. I don't think they're going to be for everybody but especially Ruffle Trim and Bedtime Flirt. I love them. Have to keep them. This is from ColourPop. This is one of their lippy sticks and it is in the shade Westy. It's a really pretty pink color. Um, again, it almost kind of reminds me of like the Milan from NYX, except it's a little bit lighter, like it's not quite as bright. But I really do like the lippy sticks from ColourPop. I think they're really unique and cool, so I will be keeping this one. Another ColourPop Ultra Matte. This is in Midi. Again, one of my first purchases from ColourPop. This is a really like cool toned nude pink color and very neutral, and I will be keeping this one. And then from CoverGirl, this is their O Sugar Lip Balm. It's in the shade Candy. I just mentioned this in my most recent favorites video, so obviously I'm going to keep this one. But this is what I have by my desk that I just use all the time to keep my lips as hydrated as I can, and I love it. And then from Maybelline, this is another one of their matte lips, and this is in as the lipsticks roll. This is in Touch of Spice. Again, this is a really great color for fall because it's almost just like a spicy red-brown color. So I will be keeping this. This is another one from Kylie Cosmetics. It's the only liquid lipstick that I own from her and it is in Candy K. I just mentioned this in my June favorites video, so of course I'm gonna be keeping this. This is another one from ColourPop and their Ultra Mattes, and this one does the same thing as Chili Chili. Like, can you see how it separates like that? This one is in Limbo, which is a brown color, but I don't know, something about the formula of these two just seems very, very strange. Uh, so this is what Limbo looks like. It's a very, very dark brown, and... I don't know. I can't. Does anyone else have this happen with their color pops? Does it mean they've gone bad somehow? I don't know. I'm going to hold on to it for now, but I want to do some more research into it because if it's bad, then I'm going to have to throw it away. But yeah, this one is Limbo from ColourPop. Another one from Gerard Cosmetics. This one is in 1995. Again, this was one um, in collaboration with Jaclyn Hill. Now, Jaclyn Hill no longer does have a collaboration with Jar Cosmetics. All of the lipsticks that she created, I believe, are still for sale for them, but like she's not affiliated with them anymore. I don't know what happened and her story behind it, but honestly, I was not impressed with anything that she collabed on them with them. But yeah, no, I'm gonna toss this. Another one of the Tarte Cosmetics Tardis lip paints, and this one is in TBT, and it's a very like that cool mauve brown color. Let me keep this one. And then from ColourPop, another ultra matte is in Trap. This one is like that cool kind of grayish pink color. Really, really like it, so I will definitely be keeping this one. I wear this one so often. This is another soft matte lip cream from NYX Cosmetics. This one is in Realm. This is a really pretty like deeper red shade, like almost like a brick red, brown red shade, I would say. This one to me actually is not as good as the other NYX soft matte lip creams that I have. I have to apply it quite a few times and it's kind of streaky. It's the only soft matte lip cream that does that to me, which I find kind of strange, but still I really like the formula and I do like this color when I want something a little edgier, so I'll be keeping this one. We're so close to the finish line, I kind of can't believe it, but this is another Anastasia Beverly Hills liquid lipstick and this one is in Ashton. Very cool like brownish orange color. It's like absolutely perfect for the fall. I loved it so much. Like the minute I first put this on, I was like, yes, this is amazing. So I will be keeping this. Okay. And then I have another of the NYX soft matte lip creams. I actually just bought this one the other day as well. It's in San Paolo. A really pretty like deep pink almost like a pink fuchsia shade, but I really like it, so I will be keeping this one. This is a lipstick from Wet n Wild. It is in Bare It All, like $2 or something like that. I, I'm kind of almost like running low on it, but I'm gonna keep it until it's gone. Another Maybelline lipstick, this is Mauve Mania. I wear this one so much. It's a really cool mauve color, of course, and I'm gonna keep it. This is another Baby Lips from Maybelline. I'm actually gonna keep this one because, what is this shade? This is in... 
peaches kiss but it really does not give like much tint to the lips and i just think it's very hydrating and like moisturizing to the lips this is actually what i keep on my purse so like when i'm out and about and i just need to throw like some lip balm on this is what i go for so yeah i think this is the only baby lips that i'm keeping these are my last lippies to go through so another one from kylie cosmetics this is a lip gloss and so cute so i will keep this one another one of the new maybelline color jolts this one is in orange outburst such a cool color and i truly do love this formula love it this is my last one from gerard cosmetics this is in the shade buttercup honestly out of all of them from gerard cosmetics i really really did like this shade it's another collab with jaclyn hill and i thought this was the best formulated one but again I just really don't stand behind dry cosmetics so I am going to get rid of it and I have plenty of other nudes in my collection so I'm gonna toss this one another lip gloss from Kylie cosmetics like I mentioned I did get all three this one is in literally this is one of my favorite shades it's a bit of a deeper brown nude and I really do like it again they are like hella expensive but if you want something that is not Sticky, like I just cannot stand sticky lip glosses. These are good ones. And the very last one has the honors of going to Anastasia Beverly Hills. This is in the shade Catherine. Again, this is another one that I just mentioned in my most recent favorites video. So of course I'm gonna keep it. It's such a pretty like brown berry color. Oh, I just, I absolutely love it. Definitely keeping this one. And then we are done. So this is the pile of lipsticks that I'm keeping, oh my word, and then this is the pile that I will not be keeping. So I don't know how well I did, I honestly thought I'd only get rid of like two lipsticks, so I'm kind of proud that there's, you know, probably more than ten in this pile, but still quite a bit here, but these are just lipsticks that I wear all the time, some of my favorite shades, favorite formulas, and ones that I just truly cannot be without and thank you guys so much for watching i really appreciate it um yes make sure to give this video a thumbs up if you liked it i hope you will subscribe before you go if you do want to see more declutter videos please do leave like what out of my makeup collection that you would want to see next and i will be happy to film that for you and i'll see you guys in my next one